Yo, what is going on part timers Zach here in today's video we're going to be talking more in depth about the frozen darkness I wanted to make this video in part mainly because a lot of you guys were talking in my last video about how it was a little lackluster and a little bit more introductory and I definitely want to provide right types of information for you guys and give you something that you guys really enjoy and so I really wanted to kind of thank you guys for keeping me on my toes and definitely giving me the right path forward essentially to be a better content creator and provide more informational videos for you but let's go ahead and dive into this overall so the thing I want to talk about right from the get-go are these normal runs i feel like once you get to a point where you know exactly what mission you should be grinding that is kind of what you kind of focus on you get a narrow-minded type of thing and you start to kind of forget a lot of this different stuff so it wants you to run essentially up to 50 times for the normal runs and what it's referencing here is essentially these ones right here so they do give currency though for the shop here as you can see you get a little bit of currency it does cost seven, uh, 25 stamina but it does want you to run this 50 times and the reason i want to bring this up is mainly because like a lot of people i just get narrow-minded like okay well i can see what i want to do i can see what missions are the best i'm just going to run that mission and then i forget to go back and do all these ones and then i end up missing out on rewards so that's just something i kind of wanted to bring up so you can kind of do it however you want if you're like me i'm probably just going to do it at the beginning so i don't have to worry about it later but if you definitely have better time management than i do you can do it at a different point definitely towards the end of it if you prefer but it's up to you guys as well so as you want to kind of work through these challenges here now it does have the same requirement for these you want to do these about 50 times however the reason i don't really mention it very much is because you're probably going to run c5 more than 50 times i imagine so it's probably not going to be that big of a deal in comparison to something like the normal runs let's go ahead and talk about this so this is essentially like a buffed version of the resources for your memories you're able to run this stage and get some different things after clearing eight times you're guaranteed a six star and then you have a certain percent of chance there as you can see for your six star just from run or normal runs at any time before the actual eight times so as you can see though you actually have some chances to get quite a bit of memories and some six stars as well and then you can also do the currency for the shop so this is kind of why it's more bang for your buck than say for example ae4 because you're only able to get the memories from ae4 and so this is going to give you that currency as well and it costs 30 stamina so it's definitely going to be kind of on there on the tip side of the stamina obviously you're going to have to kind of keep an eye on where you're going but it does give you a lot of bang for your buck and let's just say real quick i actually like that this new design here so i don't necessarily know if it's for jp and cn as well but i definitely like this a little bit better than what they had i think it's a lot cleaner that's just something i noticed whenever i first seen these but anyway let's go ahead and jump into the overall shop and just talk about this so the main thing i wanted to talk about here is the reason that a lot of people say one and two are kind of useless here is because a lot of people like to mid max and if you don't know what mid max means or min max it essentially means that you're kind of going for the most optimal thing even if it's like a small percentage or a small amount of numbers you're still doing it just for that little bit of a bonus so the reason is if you go into patent here and you see that she actually has an hp of 146 and a crit of six this is going to be the one and two slots and then if you go into something like shop and use somebody like darwin which is a very common use of you know, kind of combo essentially for alpha you want to jump in here and you can see that the hp is 149 so obviously it's not a huge bonus but it's one of those things that a lot of people kind of care about and they want to pay attention to and the reason that i even suggest it right now because normally i'm not one of those type of people that like to min max is because you have a little bit more freedom right now and you can grind for exactly what slots you need so you might as well do it because you have the opportunity to do it and that is why i suggest it personally because like i said you just have a little bit more opportunity and a little bit more freedom to kind of get away with doing stuff like that now it's not always the most like optimal thing obviously if you're running for the c5 and you're just getting random rolls obviously at that point it's a little bit up to luck however this shop gives you a little bit more leeway and a lot more freedom so the next thing i want to talk about is essentially you need one for each slot obviously for the four stack but the thing is a lot of people don't realize that they actually need two more for residents so it's going to make a lot more sense let's jump into a memory here just a random memory it doesn't really matter let's pretend this this is patent right here and then you need two more patents essentially for the residents and that's why it's going to be a grand total of 12 when you factor in every single slot that you actually need to get so for example three through six you need one of the base unit and then you need two more for the residents so that is a total of 12 when you go all the way to your sixth slot here so as you can see it is quite a lot of stuff and then i did factor in cam for the fact that he's free to play essentially if you're able to get him from the event and grind for him as well so the currency for everything that i kind of recommend in the store anyway is going to be 8850 so that does include cam that includes your entire set here for all the way to six and then all the dupes that you need as well so that is just what i kind of factored in or what i feel like is the most important so that doesn't take into account something like the frog accessory which may be very important to some of you guys but just something that i didn't really factor in when it came to the grand scheme of the totaling essentially but a lot of this stuff is really important and you kind of want to check out as well but as far as i'm concerned this is the most important stuff that you really want to grind for so 8850 there is definitely going to be the total that you're looking for all right so that's going to be it for the shop i do want to quickly talk about co-op since it is open i did make a little bit of a misprint last time i talked about this is because i actually thought that this would be going on when the other co-op it actually takes over the other co-op but your runs any runs that you actually did during the other co-op 
actually transfer to this one because I do use the same kind of ranking system here on currency. And you can actually do the same thing as I was talking about in my co-op video. You can actually create a room, run it by yourself, run it on the nightmare mode and kind of do that if you don't want to have to worry about stuff, especially if you want to play as alpha because it's going to be very, very hard during this event to play as alpha in co-op because everybody wants them and you can't play as the same character. So just a recommendation, if you want to try out alpha and you want to kind of go against her in Rosetta, make sure to grab the different room for yourself and then go to nightmare mode. Once you get her to your certain BP, you can definitely try if you want to, to go up in the rankings. It's definitely up to how much BP you have. From what I understand, it is a little bit higher, obviously, because it starts out at 2,800 and then it goes to 3,600. So I could almost technically do it by myself, but it is quite hard and it does take a lengthy kind of process. So just keep that in mind as you're working through it. From what I understand and what I've been kind of looking through, it does give you the same kind of drops. Do keep in mind that you have to have your scavengers in order to get the essentially the uh, weapon drops here in order to do that. So whenever you want to gamble at the end, you have to have your scavengers in order to do that. So that's just something to keep in mind. I just wanted to talk about it real quickly because most of the time when I talk about stuff, this is usually closed. All right, guys, so that's going to go ahead and call it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your night, guys. Peace.